Mm, yeah, fucking glare behind me. Um, I would usually shoot and then edit stuff together and then upload it later, but right now YouTube is like fucking stupid. There's no, uh, you can't upload anything, so I have to do this in a one take on my webcam. Uh, usually at the beginning of the month, I would have like, uh, updates on movies that I bought but um, I, I haven't bought anything and I haven't bought anything in a while and um, I don't have any money I have money today but I want to go watch a movie so I'm gonna use that money for go to watch a matinee of Battle Los Angeles but um, what I can do is share my uh, collection with you guys um, I think you guys might enjoy this uh, this, this is basically some of my ninja movies that I have. I know everybody out there likes ninjas. Ninjas is pretty cool, right? And, um, these are all my big box video collections of ninja movies. First one, I'm going to show off right here. Check this out. Pray for Death. Shooks. How can you not like Shokusugi? I mean, he made a comeback with Ninja Assassin, right? So this is Pray for Death right here in that show. It's got his fucking metal helmet thing. Like, this is a pretty good one. It's like Ninjas versus Mafia kind of a deal. And um, this is one of my first Shokusugi movies that I ever saw. And um. I had this box since I was 10 years old. That's how old this thing is. I'm 30 now, so it's like 20 years ago. Unbelievable, right? And I have Revenge of the Ninja someplace. I have Nine Deaths of the Ninja, but I don't want to root for it in my room right now. I want to. I don't want to go on a fucking scavenger hunt. So I'm just gonna show off the stuff that I have out there already. I have Shinobi Ninja. Can you see that? It's fucking bright in my room. There. Shinobi Ninja. There. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. There. Can you see it? Look at that. That's a ninja. Okay. Uh, speaking of Mafia vs. Ninja. There it is. I have this movie too. And look, it's a total ripoff of uh, Shokusugi. It's like all the ninja... Images that came out in the 80s were a rip off of Shokusugi's movies. Like, you know, images that he took. And this is. I haven't seen this one yet. I bought it and I didn't even watch it. Check this out Ninja Holocaust. Super fucking blurry in my room. Oh, there's glare. The sun is out. It's fucking early in the morning. Oh, that's Ninja Holocaust. I haven't seen this one either. I don't know if it's like Cannibal Holocaust. Maybe they might have some kind of a ninja eating a turtle. There's that. These next collection of videos that I have are all trans world entertainment videos. I mean, if, you, if anybody knows. Or anybody remembers uh, the 80s ninja um, boom or whatever. Um, TWE released a bunch of ninja movies. And they're basically kung fu movies with ninja scenes cut together in the movie. And most of them were made in the Philippines. I don't know why. I don't know. But I have a collection of them, even though they're super cheesy and um, kind of bad. But I still buy them. I still watch them because I like them. So the first one up here is Ninja Squad. By the way, this is uh, what's his name again? Richard Harrison. He's basically in almost every ninja movie that TWE released. There's Ninja Squad. Well, you can you can tell already that's Philippines. Look at that, the Filipino girl. And there's ninjas. 
and all the ninjas in the TWE um, videos are like wearing some cool ass colorful neon suits. It's another one, uh, Challenge with the Ninja. Look at that. It's the Terminator. Challenge with the Ninja. Rated R. And it's part of the. That right there. Yeah, that's the Ninja Theater right there. Hosted by Shotsugi. And uh, if anybody knows of that, um, you know that um, what the Ninja Theater was was Shokusugi hosting the movie. And the beginning of the movie, he did demos on various um, martial arts weapons. So, yeah, I grew up watching all that stuff. I used to rent the videos like for the tons every weekend when I was like 10. Here's another one. Cobra vs. Ninja. And I basically bought all of these because they have cool graphics. I mean, look. It's like, it's epic. It's like ninjas fighting and then explosions and stuff. And then when you watch the movie, it's like, where's the explosions? I see the ninjas, but where's the fucking explosions? So this one is another... Ninja Theater hosted by Shokusugi and it's Diamond Ninja Force. Check that out. And look at the disclaimer at the top there. You see that? Adult contains material unsuitable for children. And I rented this when I was 10. And the only material in here that's unsuitable for children is a bunch of. Uh, a bunch like just like one or two scenes of uh, a naked Asian chick topless that's it these these are all these are all ninja theaters right here this one is good I like this Phoenix the ninja this is not much of a ninja movie but um this is a it's more of like a kung fu movie and this is one of the first ones that I saw that had all the flying and shit <laughs> like one of the first kung fu movies that I watched it was like flying all over the place You're like doing this and then fly the fucking wires and um this one is Ninja Terminator again that's Richard Harrison and the combat thing it is Richard Harrison again why they picked him as a, a, a ninja? I don't know. I have no fucking clue why. I guess he was like, oh yeah, um, I'm gonna be in a ninja movie. And then, like, signed a contract, and next thing you know, he's in like about two dozen of them. And this is. Last one Ninja the Protector. This is another ninja theater movie. And uh, this is one of the first that I purchased from the Ninja Theater. And as you can see right there, Richard Harrison again. And there's Richard Harrison again. Richard Harrison. So most people would remember Richard Harrison from these ninja movies from Transworld Inter Transworld Transworld Entertainment. Yeah, Transworld Entertainment. Um, other movies that I recognize him from is uh, uh, Spaghetti Westerns, and I think he had like a small role in one with uh, Clint Eastwood. I don't know if it was his, if it was for a few dollars more or the good and the bad and the ugly. But uh, yeah, he was in a few of those Spaghetti Western movies, and he was also in like some um, Italian shot um, muscle movies, like from back in the old days, like Hercules and the and the moon man and stuff like that so yeah that's pretty much um my ninja collection what i could show what I, what i had out already so okay i hope you guys uh enjoyed watching my video of my ninja ninja movie collection a little goofiness right there for you guys